Life is for friends to do stuff together. You is for you and me. And is for anywhere, anytime at all. Right here with Anna V. I had to really think of the lyrics real quick because I'm like, wait, uh, I ain't want to use the down here in the deep blue sea, you know? What is good, y'all? What's poppin'? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to find high value friends, okay? A lot of you guys are always talking about how you cannot find good friends, how especially when it comes to finding female friends, it is insanely difficult. They are fake, they are conniving, they are vindictive, and male friends are better. But but I always say that, to be quite honest, if you cannot find friends or if you're consistently falling out with people and every single time you have a fallout with a friend is legit a Netflix series, something has to be with you. It might be an unpopular opinion, but like it, it just doesn't make sense right now. If you just don't have friends and it's not a fallout, like you literally have like friendship trauma, you have mental illness or something like that, that's a completely different story. But then, like you're telling me every single single time you have a friend you're literally in a problem it's a story worthy of a story time it's a netflix drama it's a lifetime story it's literally some shit there's something going on it can't always be them something might just be going on with you whether it's a mental illness a toxicity issue something going on with you or literally it might be where you're finding these people or the type of people that you are attracting into your life so I wanted to make this video try to help you guys find high value friends because I think I have some pretty good friends I don't really ever fall out with people too often It's really interesting because I was like looking at my story times I'm like damn I don't have many friend story times at all and the very few friend story times that I do have are not even like close close friends like they're like friends that I went to parties with type shit like they're not like best friends I only have one best friend that I ever fell out with in my entire life I've had friends that literally I still talk to to this day that I've talked to since pre-k kindergarten all that okay literally got their number check in with talk to their moms talk to their dads like listen i'm very very good at keeping connections because i really feel like friendship is valuable and you should always keep the friends that actually check in with you keep the friends that you have deep connections with and most importantly keep friends that care about you the way that you care about that so first things first i am sorry for those of you guys that actually legitimately have friendship trauma and like struggle to make friends and those of you guys who are adults who have graduated graduated or like you know don't really have a job or like a consistent job where you can make friends right because that shit is hard I'm not even gonna lie after I graduated college I will say it was difficult I was like um how am I supposed to make friends outside of the ones from college that like don't even live near me that was a rougher patch like luckily I still had other friends from other places but it was just like and sometimes I kind of want new ones still I'm like mm, I want some new ones right so of course First things first, right? When it comes to making high value friends, we gotta get rid of the low value friends, okay? Everybody wanna sit here and talk about low value men, high value men, how to find. No, we need to get rid of all the low value people in your life before we talk about high value people let's be a thousand percent real here y'all can't be out here trying to attract high value when you have low value people around you this goes for family this goes for friends this goes for jobs this goes for school this goes for everything in your life we talk about all of this we hot you gotta get rid of all of this we hot well, i might as well call this the level up series because we we, we got to get rid of all of it you can't have high value people around you and your whole shit low level like it just doesn't work because high value people don't want to be around that shit shit now let's talk about what high value high level people are now of course i'm going to be using those words interchangeably okay high value high level people are educated they have common sense they come from good families or they are willing to create a good family if they do not come from one they are working on themselves 24 8 they are working on their mental health they have goals and aspirations they do not sit around smoking drinking partying and doing nepotic all the time they are happy people or striving to be happy people they do not bitch cry and complain about every single thing all the time they work on bettering themselves okay at every given moment okay these are not the people that you're gonna find clubbing all the time these are not the people that you're going to find at raves these are not the people that you're going to find spending money on bullshit I'm not saying that these are boring people I'm not saying these are 
are the people that don't go to clubs or don't go to raise. I'm saying these are not people that you're gonna see doing these things on a consistent basis. These are people that are at brunch. These are people that are on vacations. These are people that have careers that have pensions and 401ks. These are sometimes entrepreneurs. It really depends. These are people that literally have degrees. These are people that they don't have degrees. They have careers and they are climbing a corporate ladder. These are usually people that keep a low profile. They're not really that loud. And if they are that loud, they're loud with a purpose. Okay. They're allowed to promote their business. They're allowed to promote their hobbies. They're allowed to promote their kid that they're so proud of. Okay. These people are usually very boisterous with life. And if they're not, they're really working hard to get there. These people are usually very serious about their health, which means they're usually in the gym. I'm going to get to that a little later. These people are always, again, like I said, working on being their best self. All these characteristics are what you want to look for when you're trying to find a high value or a high level friend. Okay. If everything that I just explained is not in the friends that you have, they need to fucking go. Because if you're going to try to find a high value friend, as soon as they catch wind of the people that you hang out with that are smoking every day, partying every day, don't have cars, don't have a job, or they have a job at fucking the local subway, high value people, unless they're literally management at subway or they're corporate at subway, they're on the franchise of subway or they're working towards it. I'm telling you right now, the high level friend is going to be like, Ooh, child, what type of, uh, now they're not now. Listen, the high value friend is not judgmental, but again, they're always striving for better. They're always striving for more. They're not just going to be making sandwiches at subway. Okay. Once you get that high value friend and they start seeing the people that you hanging out with, they ain't got no car. They ain't in school. They, 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 they working as a regular degular doing whatever, making $10 an hour, whatever the case may be. And you know, they just want to party all the time, all of this goofy shit. I'm telling you, they just gonna, they gonna put you at a distance. They're not gonna cut you off. They're gonna put you at a distance. You're like, hey girl, you want to go to this party? Oh, now I'm busy. Hey girl, you want to smoke some weed? Oh, no, nah, girl, I can't. Hey girl, you want to go get your, our nails done together? Sorry, girl. I already got them done. It's going to be those types of responses. Okay. Get rid of the low level friends. If you want the high level friends. Okay. High value people don't hang out with low value people. Will we keep you in our circle? Yeah, because we're not going to be judgmental and be like, oh, I'm not going to fuck with that bitch because she don't got a car. Oh, because she don't want to go in school and she don't want to better herself. I'm still going to be friends with you, but I'm not going to play you close. I'm not going to hang out with you on a consistent basis because what are we going to talk about? What are we going to do? What exactly do you have in common? If you are running a business, if you have a bachelor's, a master's, you're running a business, you have so much going for yourself. You go to the gym every day. You are in a booming relationship. You're working on being a hat. You're thinking about goals every day. Like literally like think about somebody like that. And then you talk to somebody that literally every weekend at a party, all they do is smoke and drink. All they do is work a regular job. Um, they're not working towards anything else. They don't want to go to school. They're just content with making 10 to $12 an hour. And again, you guys might be like, Oh, this is so judgmental. Da, da, da. I'm telling the truth. This is what nobody's going to tell you. You. Like be very real. What are we gonna talk about? Like there's no the weather shade room. I don't know, but let's be real high value people do not sit there scrolling on their phone. They do not sit there on TikTok. They do not sit there on Shade Room. They do not sit there scrolling on their TLs for maybe more than 10 minutes because they're busy doing shit. They're busy. <laughs> okay, they're booked and they're busy. They got shit to do, right? They're busy climbing corporate ladders, running businesses, going to the gym. They're busy. A lot of people are going to think that everything I'm saying is extremely judgmental, but it's not judgmental. It is a thousand percent the truth. And this is what a lot of people are never going to tell you. What you're going to see is if you ever come in contact with a high value friend or a high value person or a higher leveled person they're just going to distance you they're just gonna push you aside they're gonna just you know keep you at a distance because they're gonna see you know what you're not about your shit you're not doing what you need to do and it is what it is is that a problem now a lot of you guys would sit there and be like oh well this person don't fuck with me oh this person is fake da, 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 da. when in actuality no you just don't have your shit together and they just stop talking to you because there's nothing that you guys have in common anymore sadly a lot of you probably don't have your shit 
shit together because even I was there at one point and I realized like damn I need to get my shit together like why the fuck am I always going to a party wasting my money when I ain't got no money so I had to stop doing that shit and get my shit together so understand I am not trying to hurt anyone's feelings and I'm not being judgmental I'm telling you what you need to hear if you want a high value life this is what you need to do this is what high value people do and this is why you're not getting those types of people and this is why probably a lot of your friends probably cut you off high value people don't have time to sit around and talk shit about people consistently all day unless again it pertains to their regular regular life okay shade room all of that goofy shit baller alert again unless it has to do with their career like they're journalists or something not happening understand being low value or high value has nothing to do with someone being better than the other it has a lot to do with your priorities just not being in the right place or you just being in a different position in life right now i've been that low value friend or that low value person because at the end of the day we all gotta start somewhere we all gonna be there because shit we all been broke y'all had to start at you know fucking working wherever the hell at 10 12 whatever dollars an hour and not thinking about the the long term not owning a business not climbing a corporate ladder not going to the gym gaining a whole bunch of weight like trust me we've all been there okay so let me just say that flat out we all been there but understand especially when you get to a certain age you get to a certain level you get to a certain stage you need to start thinking long term and then you also need to start understanding when your friends start to fall off and you start looking like damn why do i have no friends why is no one talking to me it may not have anything to do with being fake with you necessarily but it may have a lot to do with your life choices so where do you find these high value or high level friends? You have to do high value and high level things. You have to start taking care of yourself. So that's the first thing, right? I know a lot of you guys probably expect me to be like, well, you get a better job first. I that, That's easier said than done because you have to get skills to get a better job and to get skills to get a better job. Usually you have to get an education or a trade or know people and usually to do that, you have to do a lot of networking and to do a lot of networking, you have to get high level friends, right? That is a lot of a cycle right so I got you there you should start with self-care and the people who take care of themselves are usually high level high value people and usually they're very very nice and where do you find high level high value people the spa and the gym usually typically the best places and for the most part this is because those types of people love to take care of how they look they take pride in how they look they take pride in their health because they care about the benefits in the long term these type of people care about when i have kids when i have grandkids i want to be able to run around and play with them without being in pain so they make sure they take care of themselves to the fullest sometimes no matter how much it costs because why a lot of them have the careers to best Back that up now that doesn't mean you got to sit here and pay for a $500 massage that just means you need to get into the damn spa a lot of spas are anywhere from 40 to $100 just for admission okay you don't have to go get the massage and go get, get all of that you could just go get some basic admission go to the spa and the spa is amazing I love spas okay me and my man love us some spas and we usually meet some really nice people in there but me and my man are kind of antisocial but when I go by myself I meet some nice people in there but the point is you can meet some really amazing people in the spa yeah a lot of times people go to the spa and they're just just there to relax and not really there to socialize but some people they be there to socialize sometimes people go with groups of friends sometimes people go alone so you can really make some really great connections in the spa when it comes to the gym we have classes in the gym if you go to an LA fitness or a crunch fitness there's always classes now I would not suggest Planet fitness because the colors are ugly and I hate them I'm dead serious that's really why but honestly because there's no classes right I feel like everyone goes to Planet fitness it's like the starter gym um and then you know you have that hydro therapy nonsense but to be honest i feel like la fitness and crunch fitness is best for networking and making friends because again like i said the classes there are so many different classes there's kickboxing there's zumba there's cycling there's boot camp conditioning there's pilates there's yoga there's endless amounts of classes so you can easily take whatever class interests you or even doesn't interest you just try something new and find different people in those classes strike up conversation and keep those 
connections long term. Personally, every single person that I've met in the gym has turned out to be a very valuable asset to my life. From securing jobs, securing different types of connections with other people that have got me jobs, got me gigs, got me speaking engagements, or got me media hustle clients. You guys are not aware media hustle is my business where I give you guys social media advice. So, you know, make sure you guys schedule a consultation if you want. But anyways, you guys need to start thinking strategically about what you do, where you go, and why. Yes, you go to the gym to work out, but don't forget, you can really make some good friends at the gym as well. So, gyms are expensive, especially LA Fitness. LA Fitness could be anywhere from 30 to about 40 something dollars a month. I believe Crunch Fitness is the same. So where else can we find some high value people? Of course, the more expensive type of convenience stores, right? So I'm talking about Starbucks. Yes, Starbucks, ladies and gentlemen. People go to work at Starbucks all the time, especially the high level, high value people who work from home and are tired of sitting at home and looking at their four walls, okay? Starbucks is one of the best places to connect with people and meet people if you are an outgoing person. If you have anxiety, this is not for you because you have to be able to strike up conversation and keep that conversation going in order to go up to people because if not, it's just not going to work. <laughs> like, it's just not. Okay, of course, the next one would be Wakeman's. That's kind of like a little bougie-ish type of, um, you know, supermarket. And any other type of store that is kind of a little upscale-ish. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Like, upscale, but not upscale, but upscale, okay? Another one would be, like, Stop and Shop. Like, uh, Stop and Shop is, like, mid-tier. Like, uh, don't go to, like, Shop, right? Or, like, Dollar Tree. You're like, listen, I don't give a fuck how much money I make. I'm going in Dollar Tree, right? But I'm saying, you want to go places like Whole Foods, like, those places. That is where high-value people shop. Again, they care about the ingredients in the their food they care about wellness they care about how they look how they feel self-care so where are they gonna go the places with the best ingredients right so you go to those places you strike up conversation but again you have to be kind of bold <laughs> to go to these places okay they're not gonna go to Dunkin more than likely they're gonna go to Starbucks okay I go to all the damn places I don't give a shit sometimes I go to Trader Joe's sometimes I go to Whole Foods sometimes I go to ShopRite sometimes I go to all these like I go everywhere but certain people of certain stature will only go to Whole Foods, will only go to Wegmans, will only go to Trader Joe's, will only like, they're like, yeah, no, I'm not, mm, no. <laughs> like, I need my whole milk. I need my almond milk. I need my matcha. Like, I need all of my 100% organic shit. So I need to go to these specific places to get my organic shit and my vitamins. And my Listen, high value people need high value shit. So they're gonna go to high value stores. Now, of course, you guys are like, um, Ivana, I need something free or I need somewhere where I could just walk in and walk out and not look awkward because if I go into a grocery store and I don't buy nothing because you know the milk is six dollars like come on Ivana give me something to work with all right boy all right of course we got malls right but not just any mall we're not going to the outlet mall okay we're not going to the Jersey garbage okay we're not going to the outlet collective garbage aka Jersey gardens we're not going there okay even though I think everyone shops there whether we're talking about low value mid value <laughs> That's a new value. High value, whatever. Everybody shops at the Jersey garbage, right? Um, from tourists to native, whatever. Um, but we, we gotta go to like Garden State Plaza, right? We gotta go to Short Hills Mall. We gotta go to places that have the legitimate stores. Like I'm talking about places that have Louis Vuitton, places that have Versace, places that have the Balenciaga store. You have to go to places that have the legit stores, not the outlet. And if they do have the outlet, you have to go to places like the Jersey City mall where they actually have the legitimate outlets okay not just like coach oh listen I love coach let me not talk shit about coach I love coach you ever been to a real coach store that shit is very very expensive but I'm talking about like places that will probably have like a Louis Vuitton outlet I don't even know if that's a thing but you guys understand like places that will have like real real like heavy hitter outlets type of shit like those type of malls like i know jersey city's ghetto as fuck and i know they do be shooting in the mall but you guys understand where i'm coming from you would be surprised the types of people that you see going into those malls and we're not gonna go to these malls these stores or these gyms at peak hours because i know you guys have heard this advice numerous times but you go to these places at off peak hours you're going at five six seven eight nine a.m because anything between 
10 to 3 everybody is booked and busy also the next peak hours would be seven eight nine to closing okay because again everybody is booked and busy okay if you're going anywhere between like 10 to 2 or 10 to 3 they're not going to be there you have to go prime time hours in the morning or prime time hours at night because that is when they're going to have the time okay booked and busy that you could be like oh my god cute shoes oh my god cute sweater oh, this line is so long you have a listen i start a conversation with a brick wall so i don't have a problem making conversation with anyone which is probably why i've been able to like keep friends for so long but i know for a lot of you guys it's definitely harder um that that's probably a whole nother video for a whole nother time but that is where you're gonna find those prime people you have to find them prime time early or really really late that is really how i found like a lot of people like randomly too which is crazy because i personally since a lot of people do recognize me from my youtube videos i do be having to go to the mall um or go to certain places like really when it's about to close or really when it, when it just opened because it's like yo child i ain't trying to like attract attention <laughs> so and i'll be finding people like oh yeah i own this company or oh yeah i work for balenciaga and i'm like what the fuck like you'd be surprised bro so all of this is gonna only work if you put yourself out there you have to put yourself out there but you can't be desperate okay you can't just be out there like fishing for friends like i remember there was this one girl to be honest i, ooh, I remember there was this one girl like it was nice and i, I do kind of wish i asked for her number because she seemed like really nice but like she, she just kind of seemed a little like desperate i don't know it's the first time i've ever seen that happen to me like she kind of tried a straight conversation with me in line somewhere and she kind of like kept like giving me compliments like over and over again and i would have like been like oh my god girl take my number down but it was just like a little bit too much like she was like oh my god like that is such a cute shirt like where'd you get it and i was like oh over there she's like oh my god i love those shoes i was like thanks and she's like oh my god your hair is so cute i'm like thanks i just like i was just like, I was like okay girl, girl it's a lot it's a lot like put yourself out there but don't be don't don't overkill it okay don't overkill it because at that point it starts to get a little scary and you know you you might be looking a little you know but she, she could have had anxiety or something that's why i didn't like i ain't make it too awkward i was just like thanks girl have a good day you know i just i was nice about it but you know just just be real like subtle oh my god i love your shirt girl yeah you know just keep the conversation going don't just give a million compliments keep the conversation flowing but of course if you're not too good at conversation of course put yourself in places where conversation is essentially what you have to do networking events now to be honest you kind of have to have a career or have something going for yourself to be at a networking event i mean that's not a requirement but like realistically if you're at a networking event most of the time they give you name tags they give you certain type of requirements or something they do ask you certain questions for you to even go so like i'm just saying like have your shit together before you try to go to networking events because everyone in this room is gonna be like hey what do you do where do you work so keep that in mind no you do not have to be an entrepreneur ladies and gentlemen but for the most part you should have something going for yourself that you're proud to say or you should at least have something like yeah i do nails yeah i do hair yeah um i'm a sneaker uh expert I don't fucking know. Like, just have something going for yourself. Network events are amazing. You would be surprised how many people I've met at networking events that I still talk to to this day. Networking events are amazing. All right, like networking events, you can find them on Facebook. You'll find them on Eventbrite. You can just Google networking events in whatever area you're from. Some of them are as cheap as like five dollars to twenty-five dollars. Some of them have food. Some of them have liquor. Some of them are like on weekdays after work. Some of them on weekends you can definitely find some really good networking events i plan to throw some for media hustle so definitely follow the media hustle page so you guys can stay updated with that travel groups okay for those of you guys who like to travel please look into travel groups okay there are people and organizations that do travel groups with complete strangers which to be honest i don't think i would ever do that shit because i don't give a fuck with people like that and i have a whole man and I have plenty of friends that i could travel with but for those of you guys who have no friends and are open to new friends and adventure and things like that you guys should definitely try a travel group especially for those of you guys who are afraid to travel alone just google travel groups you should find plenty or if you guys follow influencers who travel there's plenty of influencers that do them but please don't go to mary jane's because we know she's a scammer just make sure you trust these influencers because you know influencers be scamming and shit but there's plenty of you know opportunities out there to travel with groups of people that you don't even know and you might just come out with a friend of course social media okay i've made 
made loads. When I say loads of friends from social media, it's insane. Like from MySpace days to now, still friends with people from social media. Desi, Jodeci, y'all know her. I just had that vlog with her from TikTok. I met Jodeci from social media and now I'm in her wedding. I got my first class ticket from Jodeci, okay? Like that's how I got to fly first class. I love Jodeci. Jodeci is literally like one of my best friends now. Like I love her to death. And I met her because I saw one of her videos. I was like, oh my God, I love her. Oh my gosh, she's in Brooklyn. I'm gonna reach out to her. I'm gonna go to her house. <laughs> Like, and now we're like the best friends. Like, I love her so much. You know, like definitely hands down one of my favorite people ever. So you never know. If you think someone's cool, if you like their vibe, you like their pictures, you think they're cool, you think they're a fit, hit them up, connect. You never know where it can go. Other friends. A lot of people, I've seen this go left. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen it go left where like friends connect friends with other friends and this shit don't work out. But for the most part, a lot of times it does. I've seen a lot of people connect friends with other friends and it does work out, but I've seen a lot of people do it and it don't work out at all so be very careful with this but for a lot of you guys that do have friends that have other friends that you think may mesh well with you go to gatherings go to cookouts go to parties and mingle okay don't just be sitting in a corner don't just show face okay i know a lot of us are guilty a lot of us are guilty of oh i'm just gonna show face i don't give up don't do that go to their party and be nice okay because ivana said so you never know who could be at that party okay you never know who can help you propel your career to the next fucking level or who can be your next bridesmaid or your next girlfriend boyfriend whatever you never know have conversation be open be happy smile be a good sport of course the free locations i did not mention are libraries parks waterfronts things like that but again you have to be very very like outspoken um to kind of grab a friend there and you don't know what the fuck you're getting from the library the the park or anything like that you gotta be yeah so that's why i kind of threw that at the end because uh, y'all know i don't know not everybody that's reading a book is reading a good book they could be reading on how to how to bodies you feel me so with that being said comment down below where did you find one of your best friends at unexpectedly because i I will say Desi find her on the internet I never would have expected us to be this close okay so with that being said make sure you guys like share, subscribe and do all that peep the description box for everything that you guys consistently ask me about down below with that being said I'm gonna see y'all